Hey, what's going on YouTube? Paradox here and welcome back to my channel. So, alright, today I'm going to showcase, I'm going to show to you guys uh, Five Star Koala. So, my personal opinion on her is that she's pretty good actually, especially uh, with uh, her skills that can inflict tremor to opponent and with that uh, dodge quick recovery i think she's pretty dope you know even though supposedly a step up character uh, shouldn't be as good as bounty fast character but yeah as a step up she's really decent okay so i'm gonna go through her traits a bit um when performing a perfect dodge you can actually give enemy confuse effect Okay, and you can actually reduce enemy's attack by 30% for 20 seconds. So this is great, man. Uh, and then boost the cooldown reduction speed of dodge by 50%. Straight just like that. You know, without any condition. That is dope. So trade 1. When in the area around your enemy's treasure, increase damage deal by 30%. After KOing an enemy, recover HP by 15%. And trade 2. When your team has less treasure secured, increase damage deal by 20%. And again, boost cooldown reduction speed of dodge by 30%. So that is easily 50% damage increase and 80% um, uh, cooldown uh, reduction speed boost. So that's crazy. 80% cooldown reduction speed boost, guys. Imagine. All right. After receiving damage from an enemy, which is more than 50% of your max HP, reduce damage received by 30%. So I think my uh, this trait, right, is also very, very good. Especially when I uh, met Roger. So, you know, imagine how uh, the match has just started and you jump down, you know, and Roger is in front of you. They use their Kamusari. But my health, uh, what's left will be about like half. So instead of, you know, straight away, like, uh, almost die or, you know, things like that. You know how huge uh, Roger's damage is, right? So, yeah. I'd say this trait is really decent. Really decent. Especially with uh, her healings. Uh, if you are lucky and if you are good, you, are, you can actually regain health later. Uh, even though you were hit by Roger's Kamusari uh, at the start. So, yep. A boost trait increase critical damage deal by 10%. So yeah, pretty decent for a step up character. You know, I mean we are not expecting too much, right? Okay, so skill one, fishman karate, a mid-range area attack with a knockback effect, nullify stagger for a set period of time. So yeah, an attacker with a knockback effect. So that is really cool. And then next we are from the revolutionary army. So this is a double team skill with Sabo. I think this skill is dope. It is a long range area attack with a chance to inflict tremor plus a long range area attack nullify stagger for a set period of time well instead of long range it is more of a mid range to be honest so what it does is that first sabo will come out so koala will call sabo sabo -kun, and when sabo comes out he will um i think do his dragon claw or whatnot and inflict tremor to opponent after that koala will do his like will do her jump and kick uh the opponent i think this one got some knockback effect a bit to, to be honest but yeah maybe it doesn't categorize as knockback effect but the enemy do actually being thrown away a bit all right so uh enough on the trade let's take a look at uh, the metal set that i'm using so 54 percent attack and 54 percent um defense yeah for attacker uh nothing special it's just luffy uh metal set and uh, the support that I'm uh, equipping her with is about, let's take a look, 153%. And I have Defenders, Triad Pirates, Paramecia, Captain, New World, Worst Generation. All tags activated at level 600. So yeah, with Defender tag and Straw Hat Pirates uh, uh, tag effect, uh, you know, Strat Pirates reduce uh, critical damage by 30% and Defender increase the defense, uh, her defense. So yeah, pretty, I mean, she can survive the match quite well. Okay, so that's it. Let's get into the gameplay, shall we? Alright, so first match is at Drum Island and we have plenty of EXs as our opponent, Blackbeard, Shanks, Roger. Uh, and we've got Sabo as well. So yeah, 170k total party power. So no doubt we have two Roger to help in our team. Uh, but still, we are going against a fairly um, a strong opponent with boost to Roger. Alright, so um, being an attacker, obviously my job is just, you know, run straight to the mid flag. But 
Well, seeing the defender is running with me, so I don't care about him. Just capture the B flag. Because defender, I mean, the only defender should stay at the first flag. You know what I mean? Anyways, I saw that Roger down there, so it's a boost to Roger. Um, I don't know what should I do. I'm trying to bait his dodge and mistakenly use my skill one. I actually want to use my skill two. And boom, managed to kill him. So as you can see, Koala's skill two, uh, uh, if you manage to uh, hit him, so there are two, I'd say, uh, steps of the hit. So the first hit where when Sabo comes out, it will actually gives out uh, damage and also uh, tr inflict tremor to opponent. After that, Koala will come with a uh, jump kick or I don't know how, what you call it <laughs> and uh, do another damage to opponent. So yeah, it, it is kind of cool though. Like if, if you manage to trap the opponent inside the tremor then the damage applied will be quite huge so yeah especially uh, with uh, koala straight if you do it inside enemy's treasure you will apply more damage so yeah pretty cool boom i'm able to do to hit my skill two again with this black beard so nice and now that we've got team boost uh bam nice timing again i'm able to kill black beard at the back while damaging the black beard at the front and kill them both straight away Nice. All right. So yeah, things are looking good. I think uh, someone is down there back capping again. I think this is the same Roger because <laughs> I don't know why this guy loves back capping. <laughs> is this guy doing some challenge or what? I don't know, man. Because <laughs> it seems like he's running away instead of attacking me. So <laughs> I'm trying to test skill one range here, but unfortunately, I know it's quite dumb because you know when you are at um, a drum island, don't do any skill when you are going down that path because it's it's not linear so it's very hard for your hit, uh, attack for, uh, to hit opponent so anyways i'm able to kill that um nightmare luffy so yeah not a problem again with my skill two so even with level four right level four skill two and level 80 koala i'm able to produce that much damage well, obviously, thanks to my support, but still, I, I, I'm gonna say that it's a good skill. Koala is an interesting character. Okay, I was hit by Roger. I think at this stage, one of her trait um, activated, and I'm able to kill Shanks as well, thanks to the team boost. And boom! Look at that, bro. 20k and 18k damage, team boost, and kill both Roger and Ace. All right, nine seconds left. So, um, I think we are really, really good here. Four flags captured, and that's it. We won the match. 6.5k score using Koala. Five star. All right. So, yeah, not bad. I'm the MVP. I even beat those Rogers in my team. <laughs> well, not to say that I'm good, but hey, you know, it is at least a, uh, I'd say, um, worthy, worthy performance. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, Roger. So boost to level 80 and 100% support. So yeah, th this is a not bad Roger. So yeah, I, I don't know. But I'm able to one-shot him. So yep, perhaps because of the 50% uh, percentage support difference. Anyway, second match in uh, Land of Wano. So yeah, Land of Wano is, uh, I'd say, quite a good match for her because uh, Land of Wano flags are a bit secluded, so um, you are mostly gonna have a 1v1 fight if you don't like, you know, linger around the mid flag so much. Yeah, the mid flag is dangerous, like, even if you kill enemy, there'll be new enemy coming, you know, so you don't have time to breathe. So, I don't usually go and f uh, fight at the mid flag. Anyways, the, uh, this brook misses skill, so I think perhaps uh, this guy is, you know, looking for a colored medal. Uh, and I, I gotta say that uh, this Brook is quite strong. I mean, yeah, he must have a high support percentage because it is not easy for me to kill him. So yeah, as you can see, it takes me quite some time to kill Brook, but yep, we managed to do it. Okay, so we have uh, Whitebeard and Ace here. I'm able to inflict Tremor on Ace. Boom! Hit a Whitebeard as well. But uh, I don't see me having advantage. So I'm planning to uh, kill them. So I'm waiting for my team boost. And let's go. So I'm going to uh, finish off this ace first. Because ace is annoying with his uh, shield. So right now things are looking pretty good. 
and uh, yeah, most of most of our uh, teammates are at the mid flag, so I'm gonna chill for a while. Plus, my health is not looking that good, so I'm gonna grab that mid, you know, have some HP recovery, and go back and see what can I do. Okay, looking at the map, someone is coming, so I'm gonna sneak attack. Bam! Nice, 10k hit, and I'm able to perfect dodge that Marco. But I miss my skill too. So that Marco is good. So he used his, I think, skill 2, right? Yeah, skill 2. I haven't used Marco in a while. And he, he's able to escape from me and capture the flag. Damn. All right, Tibu. So, man, I don't know what should I do. I know I'm going to be dead for sure if I fight him, him head on with his team boost. But I don't know why he hasn't attacked me as well. So, all right. I miss my skill 1 again. A bit stupid here. But... Um, seeing that he is, uh, he has lost his team boost, so it's time to 1v1. Boom, boom, bam. Oh, look at that. It's, I mean, it, it looks pretty cool though. Koala's normal attack, I'm not gonna lie, looks really cool. And boom, kill Marco with only Sabo's attack. So, thank you, Sabo. Nice. All right, so uh, about 27 seconds left. And uh, looking at the map, the opponents are centered at the mid flag. I mean, I mean, not really mid, but yeah, B flag, I'd say. Boom, kill guard because I don't want to, you know, let him uh, inside the treasure or else it will be troublesome. Because guard is really tanky and of course against attacker, he's got extra damage reduction. So nice, two seconds left and that's it, 7.2k overwhelming score i know this is in uh still in s plus but hey my koala is level 80 you know so it's it's i gotta say it is quite fair okay so nice um three flags captured and four kills well not too bad not too bad so i gotta say um seeing how a koala performs right I might have the urge to, you know, to boost to her, but as a step up character, you know, um, usually they, they are not as good as Bounty Fest character, not necessarily, but most of them are, and uh, Koala's uh, skills, right, both of her skills, no doubt is good, but it's got some delay time, especially uh, on the animation time, so yeah, you gotta, you gotta get used to it, and in... For example, like emergency situation where you want to use your skills quick, then it is not easy to use Koala. So with Koala, it is always important to bait uh, opponents dodge first, then you can apply your skill because it's got that delay time and it is enough for opponent to dodge if they notice it. Anyways, alright, I'm gonna kill this Shanks, boom. So her skill 2 is supposed to be long range but it is actually more or less mid range. Yeah, as you can see with Shanks just now, I'm not, like Koala doesn't directly hit him, but he's able to kill Shanks even though both of them have some distance. Anyways, okay, I'm almost back to the game. I almost died here, so I saw me up there. Luckily, I'm already inside the bubble, so I went up straight away. And there's an opponent, Marco, there, there trying to cap the flag and boom, 70k. Luckily, I've got my team boost there, so yeah, I'm able to apply that huge damage towards Marco. So, I'm able to kill him, nice. And, um, so, I'm, I want to jump down actually, but I saw that mid. But looking at Roger's health, I think he needs it more, so never mind that. Um, I don't know what should I do, so <laughs> I just go to the enemy respawn area, jump down, trying to see how can I be of help. So, there's Caesar here. Saw that dodge and boom, 3k hits, not that much. So this uh, Caesar is pretty tanky. And I know that I baited that Shanks counter. However, I thought I'm, I'm already far from him. But somehow I was hit and killed later by this Shanks. Man, damn. Anyways, uh, one minute left. So I think I'm, I think I can afford to wait for Koala. So let's wait for a while and let's go. All right, so um, I'm gonna jump down. I think Snake Man, Snake Man doesn't have much health, so I know this Shanks is easy with his counter. So yep, and bam, 11k almost died there. So I don't want to waste time and kill him straight away, and try to recapture 
the E flag. Is this the E flag? I can't see. Yeah, I think it is the E flag, right? <laughs> okay, cool. Got it. Nice. Okay, so what's left is just Caesar, and with that team boost, I know I need to get rid of him as soon as possible. So I miss my skill too. But there's no way I'm gonna miss with my skill one. Bam! Managed to kill Caesar, and let's go, let's go. Things are looking good, but I'm afraid someone is back capping. And thank God we won the match with three flags captured and 5.1k score. Hey, not too bad. I'm not the MVP, but uh, kudos to the, to the team. And that's it, boys, from me. I hope you guys enjoy Koala's gameplay. So if you want to max boost her, and if you like her, go ahead. I think she's pretty good. Uh, so even in SS, I think uh, she's able to fight against Roger 1v1. Of course, if you are able to perfect dodge uh, Roger's skill 1, then, well, you have the chance to kill him. But yeah, so Koala is not too bad. It's not too bad. I kind of like her actually. So, all right, that's it, boys. Uh, if you like this video, uh, do give it a like, of course. And if you like my content, do subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. So that's it from me. Thank you so much. Take care. Ciao.